Welcome to TCG Finder, where we like to open up random, rare, and vintage trading card games and collectible card games. Today, we're going to open up this Pokemon VMAX Climax. One of my favorite Pokemon imports. And uh, Pukemon. I really highly doubt any of you are here to actually see this opened up, but for those of you who are, thank you. And, you know, hopefully you all are actually entertained by this. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with the good stuff first, the Pokemon VMAX Climax. And hopefully we actually pull a God Pack, maybe? Um, that would be cool. Um, now, you're also going to notice on this channel, I don't really talk about like market data. I don't talk about the prices of the cards or anything like that. But um, I do look for the hits. We look for the good cards here on this channel. That is for sure. <laughs> okay, let's get into this. Oh, uh, let's see. Ah. <laughs> that did not turn out as well. But okay. <laughs> 10 packs. And so, right before I actually start cracking into these guys, um, I want to tell you about my 100 subscriber giveaway. So I'm sure you've realized, so let's pull this off to the side. <laughs> um, I'm not actually at 100 subscribers yet, but we are getting there. And if you want to be a part of that giveaway, Stick around to the end of this video. I'll let you all know what the rules are and what you need to do to be a part of that giveaway. And an honorary member of the TCG Finder community. Okay, let's actually start cracking into these packs. <laughs> now I know they have like a little pull tab, but let's see. Awesome. Okay, let's see if we can get a god pack. No, no. Not, not right off the bat. And we're just gonna thumb through these guys. Okay. Now is that the hit? No. It's probably one of three different hollows we have in this pack. <laughs> okay, that's our hollow right there. And that is our V card. Awesome. Okay. And these uh, prism cards at the end are actually pretty neat too. There's some rarity to those as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. Next one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> these cards are extraordinarily shiny and glossy, so leaving fingerprints is extremely easy. Victorian. Try to yell out these names something I, I don't understand or recognize because it's Japanese, I do apologize. There's our hollow. Ah. Uh, that's our hollow right there. Okay. See, so many. <laughs> and that right there, that is our full art. Wow. That's actually not bad. A little bit of texture on that too. That's actually a really good hit for a V card. And horsey. You guys are all doing okay? Staying positive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah. Hey. I swear I think there's like a V card in every pack. <laughs> and one of these. In every pack. Still fun and exciting every time, and every time I think I'll leave a thumbprint right there on the front. <laughs> Eevee. Everybody loves Eevee. Kingdra. Okay. The big Pikachu. This is actually a really good hit. Hey, I'm actually really happy to get that. 
print line right across right there. I don't know if you see that, but that is still a really good hit. It's actually a tough one to pull out of these, out of this set. That's really cool. Actually, that goes right over there. That was actually really cool. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> Wow, okay, the big chunky Pikachu. I'm pretty sure that card is available in a promo, um, in a box set, but in the Japanese version, that's actually a really good pull. Sorry if I keep hitting the camera. <laughs> okay. Hey, Pikachu V. Another one. More basic one, actually. Hey, there we go. Wow, that's really cool. That's even better than the Pikachu. <laughs> Adenate, I think is what it's called. Uh, full art with the character art and everything. Wow, that's really cool. That's going to go right there with the Pikachu, though. Okay. Okay, hey, a VMAX. Nice. Probably not the most valuable of them all, but this is actually a really good hit to get. Awesome. So far, no God Pack yet, but the hits are doing pretty good. Hey, even that one's a pretty good hit for the uh, Crushed Hollows. Okay, how many packs we got left? Four? Okay. How long this video ends up being? <laughs> Fire energy. I hope you guys are enjoying this, especially the speed. I could sit here and start, you know, dwelling on each card and talking about it, but you know what? Let's get to the hits. Right, that's actually pretty nice looking for a hollow. You get two hollows per pack. That's pretty cool. Hey. Now that's pretty cool. Um, actually, my wife's favorite one, uh, Sylveon. <laughs> I'll actually go right there. Awesome, a cool, another character art. Yeah, these are actually, these are some of the more valuable, more uh, rare hits to get out of the uh, Japanese sets. That's cool. Gary and Flareon. Hey. Thumbprint. <laughs> Desktops. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Awesome. Okay. Um, I know it's Articuno. I think Galarian Articuno? I forgot how that works. Oh man, different variations of different legendary Pokemon and mythical Pokemon now. Man. Okay. Okay, let's open up this guy. Okay. Hey, that's a really good hit, actually. That is pretty good, right there. I forgot the name of that, but that is a Pokemon writing another Pokemon. I mean, you couldn't get more epic than that. Come on. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It's like, uh, since I know I can leave, I, I leave thumbprints on the energy cards, I'm trying not to leave any more fingerprints on any of the other ones. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Zoned out for a second. Oh, okay. um, this guy. Um, this guy right here. <laughs> you know, this could be a god pack right here. 
to be a pretty epic hit of some kind. And you know what? That's not going to be for me. Let me clean these guys up. Okay, so this guy. Well, you know what? I might as well. What I feel like doing is actually adding it to this pile right here. So yeah, let's add it to the giveaway pile. So now we're looking at one Ultimate Combat starter deck. One Shadow Fist starter deck. Look at this double starter deck Hyborian Gates. And we're looking at four Shadow Fist starter packs, or booster packs, I'm sorry, and four Hyborian Gate booster packs. It's looking pretty good now. I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope there's somebody out there who thinks that this is a pretty good haul of cards, okay? Um, and with each video, this keeps growing. And so, let us move on to the next one. Um, this is to, you know, add a little bit more to this video. Ten packs, you know, nine since I'm giving one away, isn't quite enough. Not for me. So, let's do some Pokemon. Let's open up like, I don't know, ten of these guys. That, that actually sounds like a good idea. These cards are pretty cool because you get a mixture of nostalgia and you get a mixture of that that childish, you know, antics of oh ew gross grossness and and that's disgusting type of thing. So <laughs> this right here, this is perfect. Uh, I feel like it matches and it, it goes with my channel quite well. <laughs> we'll do ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. One big grab, and there they all are. Okay. Um, so, the odds on these are... Yeah, let's, let's take a look at them. Single, double, triple cards with the little toilets. So the toilets will, will be your rarity. Okay, so the three toilet cards are going to be some of the more rare of them all. And then, um, it's not just the three toilets, but it's also holographic three toilets, gold... Um, stamp three toilets. So, um, yeah, th these cards, <laughs> this this card series actually has some some rare stuff in it. Some pulls. Okay, something I do remember. Okay, yeah. So I kind of have to like pull it off camera, flip the cards so that I don't see them, and then we do. Hopefully, and they stick together as well. So, what was it? Botulism? Okay. <laughs> um, and then they get these weird transformation cards. Uh, like evolution cards. Let's see. And, uh, okay. Two toilet. Gastritude. <laughs> I, I guess that's a good pull. So, I guess that's how we'll separate that stuff. Alright, let's tear into these. This is actually difficult. <laughs> okay. So, um, I don't know if they're going to be at the end every single time. It could be in the middle. Ah, yeah. This one's in the middle. Hey, look at that. Three toilets. Uh, Bordy... Gimme? Uh, okay. Or Borby Gimme? <laughs> the names. Okay, I guess that goes with that. Uh, okay, so these cards not just have hollows or gold stamps. Both of those things probably sounded pretty kind of, you know, weird and cool at the same time coming out of a card series like this, but they also have scratch and sniffs. Yeah, I hope you guys are into scratch and sniffs. Again, like I said, these cards definitely go uh, with my style on this channel. <laughs> okay. Tentaful. <laughs> uh, definitely a play on words and names for against the uh, the whole Pokemon series. I mean, Pokemon, Pokemon, Gross Meowth. So I don't think they were actually trying with that name. They just were just like, we're just going to put Gross and then Meowth. Hey. Okay. 
And that is a scratch and sniff. You can kind of tell it's a scratch and sniff when uh, you can see the light refract off of it right in this area. That's where the scratch and sniff chemicals are like soaked in. <laughs> Polygag, okay. Yeah, that's a that's one of the better hits. That's a hit right there. That's actually a real hit. <laughs> and that is weird to say with talking about Pokemon. <laughs> uh, choker. Uh, okay, I don't even know if that's actually child appropriate, but you know why not? <laughs> uh, okay. Nasty. <laughs> Two toilet, what is it? Flare on. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys are getting a kick out of this as much as I am. I mean, the jokes kind of speak for themselves. Flare on, right? And you get an ape with flames coming out of the butt. <laughs> okay. Cookie toss. Toga P. Ooh. Whoa, okay. Fletta Dilly. Fletta Dilly. Um, okay. It's a nasty cow. Stenchmon. Stenchion. Stenchion. Okay. I think I have to say it a couple times to make sure I'm actually saying it right. Hitmon groin. Toilet, uh, poly hurl. Nah, that's special though. Star P. Oh no, what the? Okay, there we go. Well, there's our hit. <laughs> oh man, these cards are so sloppy. But that's our scratch and sniff. Look at that, another scratch and sniff. Um, Dick and Guest Street Gator. Dick and just. <laughs> Decongest to Gator. Okay, you guys. Huey. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Star P. And uh, Star Poop. Okay. Some of these names, they, they tried way too hard. There are obviously way too many syllables. Dandruff, see that was easy. <laughs> Dandruff, I didn't, I mean, spew. Lots of vomit references, for sure. Puke, puke, emon. So. <laughs> there you go, so now you see why. <laughs> Sorry about that, my camera went out. <laughs> and, I mean, my camera went out and we were on our last path. Okay. Um, yeah, let's flip that around. Let's hope it's something good. Okay, jiggly butt. Um. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, these are cards that would definitely probably get you in trouble if you were a little itty bitty kid, for sure. Okay, three toilet, prion. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, uh, that's not that great. <laughs> oh, there we go. These are like the, uh, the Pikachu variants. Pikachu. Pukey Blue and Blue Chow. What is that? Drool. Okay. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that right there. Um, it, it, Pokemon is definitely an acquired taste when it comes to vintage TCGs and dead TCGs, but I like it. And not only that, you can definitely get a kick out of giving these things to uh, family members or friends. 
as a joke, um, as a way of entertaining them and you. But also, uh, the the pulls are actually kind of hard to get. If you noticed, out of everything, it was just these two right here out of ten packs. And even then, I, I don't know if I'll get too many more good pulls like this out of that box. So, uh, I guess, you know, rarity doesn't always mean valuable. So, let's make that one clear. And, you know, again, while we're at it, I'm going to bring this back over. So, our pile has grown quite a bit now. And now we've got this one VMAX Climax pack. Let us add one pack of Pokemon as well. So, wow. So now we're at a VMAX Climax pack, a Pokemon pack, four packs of Shadow Fist, four packs of Hyborian Gates, a Hyborian Gate double starter deck, a Shadow Fist starter deck, and an Ultimate Combat starter deck. Um, if I was entering a giveaway, I'd be pretty happy with all of this, but, you know, that's just me and my strange taste in vintage TCGs. To all of you, I mean, if this is not your cup of tea, but you do like seeing pack openings and other TCG openings, just join the community. All you have to do is subscribe. And liking my videos does help out quite a bit with that YouTube algorithm. So, thanks again for stopping by, everybody. Please, again, like, subscribe, and comment. But if uh, you're trying to enter that giveaway, find my title video, What Is This Channel All About? That's the one you need to comment on. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by.